What's up, everyone? We're back to doing the off-road series that we started this summer. Had to take a little break because he had to get a bunch of stuff fixed on his on his truck. But hope you guys are ready. This is scared the hell out of me, but hope you guys enjoy it. We did Little John Bull today. Um, it's it's one of the hardest runs up here. And also at the very end, we show you a preview of the next route we're gonna take, which is John Bull, the main one, and uh, the. Uh, the gatekeeper that part of it guys wait till you see that that's going to be next cheers enjoy the video yeah. what's up everybody hey. <laughs> how you guys doing Woo. so we're finally back with part two of our jeep off-road series and uh these are some pretty gnarly off-roading adventures so uh he says this one can get pretty rough i'm looking forward to it i hope you guys are right now we're headed towards the dump area in Big Bear City over by Baldwin Lake to get to the trail that we are going to be taking. What's the trail's name? It's called, we're going to do Little John Bull today. Little, Little John Bull, you guys. So that's what we're going to do. We're in this amazing Jeep. <laughs> oh my God, where'd the door go? Where'd the door's go. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so just uh, get ready, guys. Get ready. Once again, that's my good friend, Matt. He's just an angel of a human being. I love him to death. And he goes out of his way to make sure that he picks me up to take us on these wonderful journeys. So hope you guys enjoy it. The video will be done just as I always do it. There's no editing, nothing like that. So enjoy it. And as soon as we get to the trail, I will start us up again. I love you guys. See you in a minute. All right, you guys. So we are on the trail on the way to Little John Bull. But look at that beautiful view of Baldwin. Absolutely amazing. I'm trying to hold the camera steady guys Don't trip out on it, but I want you guys to see just how insane this is. Oh, wow And we got our buddy behind us Woo! All right guys again, I'll turn it back on once we get to where we're going or if there's something awesome on the way See you soon Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I couldn't keep our video off because that view right there is ridiculous Once again, that's the Baldwin Lake view and how do you feel if I just keep this on until we get to John Bull? It's let her rip. We're gonna let her rip, guys, because this is a spectacular route right here. And in fact, in fact, you don't want to turn it off right now because we're coming up to a historical mine, uh, right? Mine, correct? It's a it's a structure, wooden structure uh, from the gold mining times. That's the desert, you guys, way down there. Yeah. Wow. Back desert. That yeah, is that's the desert. Best part. That is awesome. Holy smokes, you guys. Johnson Valley. Yep, yep. John yeah, it's, yep, Johnson Valley. And guys, forgive me for my lack of stabilization skills on these roads, but I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. It's a beautiful dog. Absolutely beautiful dog. Oh yeah, man. Here we are. Pardon my reach. Just just to get it through there real quick. Thanks, bro. Right down There's here. There's the mine right there, guys. Do not go in. <laughs> <laughs> Do not go in, I repeat. Alright, now we're gonna ascend on a rocky trail. Woo! We're going up uh Holcomb Valley Road here from the land. Side. Okay guys, so yeah, this is Holcomb Valley Road from, from where the landfill is. My car wouldn't have a chance even where we're at right now. <laughs> and I go crazy, at least I thought I did in my little Subaru. Hey, if we roll, will these seatbelts tighten? Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. I'm not, uh, you know what, I shouldn't have said that. Sucks. Yeah, don't say that because oh what you don't want to do is roll down this hill here. Yeah. On this side. Yeah, definitely not. Right. Definitely not, dude. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, it's going to be great. Yeah, well, it's funny <laughs> you said that. Some of the deepest side of the mountain. Yeah, that is pretty, oh, especially right up here. Oh, yeah. Crystal clear, a little really bit of is. haze back there in the back desert. 
yeah that that haze looks like actually uh um uh gosh humidity probably Pop, popping up getting yeah. ready for the for the afternoon storm that's right Yeah, guys, I brought this thing with me, but we can't get it unscrewed. And I thought that would be great to hold outside the car, but I can't get the darn thing unscrewed. So I'm just gonna hold this camera the whole time. Something I'm used to doing for years. My mom texts me, she's like, I'm worried about you, honey. Please be safe, you guys. And I'm like, I'm with my buddy Matt. He's, he's, oh, yeah. He does this stuff all the time. Been through here many, 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 many times. Wow. Look at those. So you're going to remember this spot from our last video. It's kind of where we left off. This is the end of this Old is, Mountain. right? Correct. Okay. This is where we came out. And so here's a sign right here. Oh, yeah, Three guys. Six, nine. So when we took that first trail two and a half months ago, this is where it ended. And then like, we shut off the video at that point. Okay, great. But we did go this way, so I didn't get to We did, but it. I don't think we filmed that. We did not. And so now we're gonna film that because the trail that we're gonna go on now is on the backside of the mountain here. And the way to get there is off of this main Holcomb Valley Trail. Is this 3N16? I forget. I'm Good question. It. Good question. We'll figure that out. But this is Holcomb Valley Road. And um, the trail that we're doing today, which is Little John Bull, that trail is going to be um, just down here a ways. Okay. All right. Pretty good view here of the back desert. Whoop, let me get around this tree. Yeah, guys. Once again, this is a beautiful desert view down there. But pretty steep, uh, you know, right here. You don't want to fall off this area. Yeah, you, yeah, guys. That's and almost. This part sweet. is gnarly in the winter because it's on the backside. So, like after it snows, people run through here, and then you know it turns into ice. And it slopes down. And it slopes this way. down. So the snow and ice will push you down. That's gotta be so, so scary, bro. I've done this many times, and every time I do it, it still, it still is scary. I don't even like doing it in the middle of the summer. See, Yikes. I guess I'm a wuss too. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to hear. I do this with my eyes closed. <laughs> He actually means he, he takes this with his eyes closed, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, my these, these these expensive GoPros overheat like crazy. So is your hand burning up? Oh no no no! I, I'm just saying it's, it's going to eventually shut down here in a couple minutes. Then I just got to switch the battery out. It's such a pain in the butt. We're getting pretty close to the uh, this first offshoot. Okay. Which is how we get to the trail. I forget the trail number, but we'll see it here in just a minute. Um, there's a really cool sign I hope you can get on that's um, nailed to this tree right here. This is a mining claim sign. I've oh, really yeah. Tried to, I don't know if you can zoom in on that. I don't, I can't zoom in. But if you guys, what does it say? Federal mining? Federal mining claim, claim yeah. Federal so mining claim. That's pretty cool. If you guys pause it and zoom in on that, I'd like to know what it says, so I'm gonna check that out as well later. But yeah, there's all gold mining history up here from the Mid middle 18, 1800s. Yeah. Late 19th century. Thousands of people were up here mining, and there's a whole, 
history surrounding this. Oh, look at those rocks. Wow. There's gold in them hills. There is gold in them hills, for <laughs> sure. You know, they say they never found the mother load. All right, and here comes the offshoot. Okay. So we're going to... This is 3N02, Three. and the trail we, we were on is 3N16. Okay, so now we're taking 3N02. 3N02. Okay. Easy, Tiger. Jeez, Louise. The guy's in a hurry. Yeah, he's going. <laughs> yeah, this door's off, too. Blow his door's off. Yeah, this area, I wanted to get this on film because this is really beautiful Holy up here. Holy smokes, look at that. Yeah, this is like a big, turns into a big pool of water in the winter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They have a lot of those up here, don't they? Oh yeah. They're huge, giant pools that just look impassable. And we'll, we'll, we'll do a winter video. Oh great. For sure. <laughs> I'm scared. I know you guys, we said that we were going to do a series and I kind of intended to do one a little bit earlier uh but um tell them <laughs> yeah okay i guess i said i got a cop to it i have an apology to make in our last video uh nick asked me if my jeep is durable and um i don't know i didn't really look up the definition of durable but you know i answered i said oh yeah they're durable <laughs> But the reality is the sad truth that Jeeps stand for just empty every pocket. Uh, these are not durable. <laughs> and uh, they need to be maintained. So I, I had, you know, I've been working on it since then. And, uh, so we weren't able to do a video. Uh, I had, gosh, I replaced my radiator and redoing the bushings on my, my, uh, my control arms and just some other maintenance that you, you know, need to do when you're, when you're doing this kind of trail riding. But, so that's why we haven't done a video yeah. sooner, guys. Just empty every pocket. Yeah, there you go. Don't you love the honesty, though, guys? That's called being humble right there. <laughs> this trail's really neat. Like, we're going up in elevation, so it's kind of changing a little bit. We're getting into the pine trees here. It's a little bit rocky. Just, just beautiful today. I mean, the weather, did, if I didn't mention it before, the weather is just perfect. Um, what, what's the temperature right now, you think? Like mid 70s? Yeah, definitely. It's just at, like, at most, yeah. It's just heaven. It really is heaven. And that's why I like watching Nick's videos, is because Nick captures that in the wintertime. You know, when we're up here in the winter wheeling and hanging out, Nick provides you know, real time, uh, you know, uh, information about what, what the weather actually really is up here. And I, I like that. And that's, I'm glad that we were able, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a scary one. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh shit! Don't fall out, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Sorry, smoke. guys, I should probably should have given you a little bit more. And I probably should have brought one. a change of underwear, too. <laughs> <laughs> because seriously, that, that one frightened me. <laughs> uh, let's see if my, I still got my buddy behind me. Is he, is he back there? Yeah, we he should. May have, he may have draw. He said he was going to drop off. But really? Uh, if he didn't, I want to see him get there. Would he text you? Oh, no. We already agreed. I think he might have turned around. Okay. Yeah, he probably turned around. All right. So we're getting pretty close to the Little John Bowl entrance. So is it John Bull or Bull? All right, so. Like Bull, like a. Bull, B-U-L-L. -L. Okay, Sorry. okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, that, John yeah. Bull. Is that the dude's name? I don't know where the name comes from. Okay. But. Because I might have to use the little John Bull when we get there. I figured, <laughs> <laughs> I figured that we would do this one. The last video was a little bit lengthy. And so I figured we'd kind of break it up. And usually when we run these trails, we will do them both. But technically they're kind of two different trails, but they run, it's kind of like one big one. 
So you can actually um, knock them both turn out. off, turn out from yeah. the end of this trail. But this is like kind of the easier version. And easy does does not mean it, it's yeah. not going to be gnarly, guys. Yeah, okay? it's still going to be probably gnarly on camera. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's not, you know, it's not the level of Gold Mountain or or the actual John Bull Trail. And and where we end this video will be where John Bull starts, and we'll speak, we'll show you that sign. Isn't this stunning up here? It's absolutely spectacular. I love the little man. blue, all the blue uh, vegetation. Like, like, like yeah. mossy type yeah, stuff. It's yeah, it's pretty cool. It really is, man. You get all the colors once again, especially when it snows up here. You got the reds, you know, from the road. You got the, the white from the snow, the green from the pines. Well, and these heavy thunderstorms that, that, that drop like an inch or two per hour, if we keep on getting them, yeah, the, these colors will explode up here. Absolutely. Explode. All right, here is the entrance. Oh my gosh, guys, all right. Now, let me say something. Is, uh, I'm so scared. If right you now. continue down this road, this goes down the back side, basically, of the mountain. And I, we've been down there. We've actually camped just down here a little bit. Down to Lucerne? No, just like a couple of minutes past here. Okay. There's a couple of spots where you can camp. And it gets kind of gnarly, actually, down this road. <laughs> okay. So it's kind of a lot of fun, but, you know, you get an excellent view. There's just some amazing views down here. And, and we'll have uh, some of those same views from a little bit of a higher elevation. Okay. But um, here's your sign. Hang on a second. I guess, well, Hang on. maybe this is the start of John Bull. I don't know. 3 n one uh, Okay. All right, guys. We're about to enter what I have been excited but a little bit dreading because, uh, you know, I'm, I value my life. <laughs> <laughs> when we have no doors. And we have no doors. Our doors got blown right off. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, let's turn back. <laughs> <laughs> no, this this trail is, I think, is pretty easy. I, I haven't done it in a while, so I don't know. They all kind of blend together. But it's definitely nothing like the gatekeeper at the main John Bull and entrance. Nothing like that. I'm going to try not to to make little sounds like oh, oh. <laughs> what did you call yourself earlier a wuss, a wuss. yeah totally totally <laughs> I mean, I think I do dangerous stuff driving in the deep snow up steep hills and stuff like that. Yeah. But, I mean, this is this is next next level dangerous, but yet gratifying with huge doses of adrenaline. This is massive doses of adrenaline, oh, and that's dude. what keeps me coming back. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, you know, I sit behind a desk all day, and when I'm sitting behind my desk, I think about doing this. Yeah. Totally. Spots that are gonna look super badass. Can I hop out to like show you going over it? Yeah, I mean I don't think there's really a whole lot okay. of okay, that then. here, and that that's why um, I wanted to. Uh, that's why I, I thought maybe we would kind of split these two trails up because it does take some time. Well, you know what? That's another video, so that's yeah. That that makes me happy. Yeah, guys, John Bull is actually known as the toughest one of these routes in this whole mountain range, right? Pretty much, yeah. There's John Bull, and then, you know, that one runs into um, Holcomb Creek, which I think is more tough. Oh, wow. Okay. I think overall there's more rock gardens, you know, pretty heavy-duty rock gardens. They're okay. short, but there's a main rock garden, which has kind of a main big rock you have to kind of get over. Um, and that's pretty gnarly. It's a lot of fun. Would you ever be okay if, if, if I got a suction cup that will not hurt your car? Oh, yeah. To put the camera out there? Well, what happened to those mounts that you 
I, I still have them all. I oh. I just didn't I didn't bring them. I spent okay. like 350 bucks. I know you should. on a bunch of mounts. Because there's mounts where I see because you could suction it to the window where you could get it real quick. Yeah, or yeah, or the roof. Or, but these are guaranteed to not do anything to the paint. It's uh, oh yeah, no, I'm fine. Whoop. We got a little mud, guys. <laughs> he doesn't want to get his car dirty. <laughs> I love it, guys. <laughs> hey, I'm the one that has to wash it off. <laughs> yeah. And that's a pain in the butt. He has kids, though. <laughs> it's the kid's job. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't tell your son I said that. <laughs> I want him to let you go. I know I should make him. <laughs> Purple flowers, man. Yeah, you know, I come up here year round, so. Do you see the changes? The different um, species of wildflowers bloom at different times of the year. So, uh, so that's kind of neat to see. It kind of, you know, it definitely changes every time you come up here. Uh-oh, here's the first. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hope you guys can tell. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, for me, it's not. <laughs> but I don't, for the Subaru, nah. <laughs> not not a chance in the Subaru, right? I don't think you're getting through that. Not a I chance. There's, I, I think there's a spot up here where I'll have you get out. Okay. And that way you can... Um, like, show what you're doing yeah. from the outside. Yeah. That's what I brought this thing for so I wouldn't have to get out. It extends like seven feet, bro. That would have been perfect. Lightning strike, I bet. <laughs> or no, maybe not. <laughs> or maybe. Possibly. Yeah. Looks like it. I've seen trees literally explode. <laughs> explode from a direct hit. Oh wow. Yeah, not in person, but I watch a lot of that. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh. This is a little bit hairball right yeah. here. Oh my god. Oh man. This crazy. Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, <laughs> hallowed be thy name. <laughs> thy kingdom come off roading done in Big Bear as it is in heaven. Alright. Oh wow, look at that. Now once again, I've only I'm running about 15 pounds bare in my tires. So that's really absorbing like a lot of the shock. Okay. That's what's making this actually, you're probably, you've got to be wondering why it's so smooth. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, it has a lot to do with the tire, the air in the tires. Smooth compared to what I expect, for sure. But if I hadn't let that air out and I was running 30 pounds, this would be a lot bumpier. <laughs> All right, check this out. Guys, this is gnarly. Look, oh my God. Oh, my heart is racing. Oh, uh, look Matt. at that. <laughs> <Mike. laughs> oh, gosh, guys. This is, oh, gosh. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, oh, I installed it. Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't I do that on the last video? Once. I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah once. <laughs> guys, this is, yeah, this is this unreal. Are we going to the right? You crazy. You are crazy. Oh, my God, man. Oh, my God. God dang! Oh! <laughs> Dude, I just gotta show them behind us real quick. Oh my god. Guys, this is... Matt, I am literally like shaking right now. It's pretty fun, huh? It's scary as hell. Now, on the last video we talked about how you can lock up your differentials. And right now I'm not running any lockers. So, I'm open open. Um, but this thing just kind of articulates <laughs> and just sticks to the ground and applies, you know, the drive to all the wheels, just cruises through. Once again, I'm driving a 2005 um, Unlimited got, Jeep Wrangler. You gotta let me out here. Okay. So I can oh yeah. Show, show, show this one. Do you think that's okay? Yeah. Okay. Guys, <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh my God. Okay, are you guys ready? For this? Oh, shit. there goes my knee. 
Guys, these are fucking humongous rocks. I gotta get out of his way though, because I don't want to get hit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm shaking just watching. I can't believe. <laughs> Are you kidding me, bro? freaking smokes Matt that was absolutely cool. insane That's bro cool huh beyond cool well let me get my belt on and this you know what I'm gonna have to change the the battery real quick because it's uh I thought it was gonna die when we were doing that <laughs> I'm glad it didn't die me too because then I'd have to do it over again and that'd be great <laughs> all right hang on guys all right guys had to change the battery because it overheated but uh what were you saying? Oh. About being alone? Oh yeah, I mean, we were just talking as Nick was changing the battery and obviously it's pretty gnarly up here. So, you know, it's not like you want to come up here, up here the first time, you know, by yourself. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that, guys. Guys, I am, I am shaking right now, just <laughs> watching what he just did from the outside. I'll be honest with you, I, I'm, I'm pretty amped also. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it never gets old. Just thank you for being careful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have a lot of experience, so I've been through here many times. In a, a little area like this one right now, guys, it, it is like psh, nothing, <laughs> even though it, 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 it is gnarly. I, couldn't, I yeah. couldn't do any of this in my Subaru. These two trails kind of blend together for me, so I kind of forget how gnarly this trail is. It, you know, they call this Little John Bowl, so I forget it actually does have some gnarly spots on it. I hope that was one of the hardest parts, right? I think it is. I think there's one more part up here. It's not, it's not that it's hard. You have to take the right line. You can kind of go around this rock. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's it. We'll see it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sweating and stuff. Holy yeah, I was just gonna smoke. put on. Dude, it's hot out here. Oh no, no, I'm. Yeah. I don't. Even if, if you had AC on, I'd be sweating bullets right, right now. All right, so very cool view up here. We're like definitely on the backside of the mountain now. I mean, this is just crazy. You guys, I hope you know how much I love you guys because I want you guys to experience this stuff with me, and no, no better friend than Matt. <laughs> to have show you guys all this. Thank you so much, Matt. Well, my pleasure. And again, I appreciate you coming with me out here because, like I said, I've been watching your videos forever. And, uh, oh, shit. And, um, you know, I thought it would be a good idea to explore other areas, uh, you know, in Big Bear that yeah. your, your viewers don't usually get to see. But here's a little bit of a gnarly tr part of the trail right here. I don't know if you want to get out. And yes, film this. yes. Might want to go down there. Because I want to get down underneath your truck like I did last I time. I usually go around this, but for you guys, I guess I'll make this attempt. Be careful. Oh, you guys. Oh, shh. Be careful. Yeah, I know, I know, bro. All right, guys, look at this. Hang on a second. This is, this is ridiculous. Hang on a second. Oh my God, you guys, he's so crazy. He is so crazy. I just have to make sure I'm not in the way in case I'm not even gonna say it. Holy smoke. Guys, I'm, I'm literally shaking. I am literally shaking. I know I'm gonna hear it from a lot of you guys, but I'm not afraid to admit that I'm a wuss. Am I clearing that rock right there, or is that rock hitting my tire? You're you're on, on the rock to the right. I wish I could explain it to you properly. Oh, I squeezed through it.
Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, Matt. Oh, oh shoot. Oh. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but that was loud. So what was that? It's my it's my rear uh, rear end coming down and um, my bumper is hitting that rock right there. Oh guys, just take a look at that one. Okay. So that that's something you expect, right? Oh yeah. You should look at my go go <laughs> fill my back bumper. Let's see. Go look at Hang it. Hang on. Ugh. Hang on. Don't kill yourself. Yeah, I know, all right. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Look underneath. Oh yeah. Look at that thing. It's been smashed. Jeez. But that thing is super durable looking, man. Holy oh, yeah. holy. I mean, it takes a pounding. I mean, it looks it's... like it. Okay. Hang on a second. All right, let me put on my seatbelt. You guys, this is so awesome. Boy, it is warm today, huh? It just, is. The weather just... Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, I'm like out of breath from that, my Matt. Sorry. I'm just used to it. Brother. Holy smokes. Really good job, bro. That was awesome. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, this is new. I don't remember that rock being there. Huh. Oh God. <laughs> oh God, guys. Oh God. Try not to roll right now. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. Okay. <laughs> <God. laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, you know what? That that is that has changed. That's really? gnarly right there. Yeah. Whoa. That was not like that the last time I went through there. Dude, this is this is insane, dude. But it makes it fun. Yeah. <laughs> it does. I mean, if you're into this kind of thing. No, dude, it totally does make it fun. If you're gonna go straight down that one, can I get out on on the front? Sure. So you go down that 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 steep one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Guys, sorry for getting in and out, but it's really important. I I, I want you guys to really see. Hang on a second, I'm gonna go around it to get the view on the front. That's a pretty big drop, huh? It's a pretty big drop. I'm probably gonna rub on this one. Oh God. It looks like you'll you'll actually pull it off. God, he's so good, dude. Just barely, it barely touched though, dude. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Dude. I only have a three and a half inch lift on this. Really? Yeah. Let me get my seatbelt on. Give me a second. And then again soon the camera's gonna be like new battery. <laughs> you got and, it? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Where'd my phone go? <laughs> Do you have my phone? It's right down, down there. Okay. So it's good there. Okay. It won't go anywhere. Okay. It's um, fine with me then. Holy smoke. Okay, so if I do roll. Oh god. <laughs> here it comes. <laughs> if, if I do roll, you don't wanna be like leaning out the window. Yeah. Because then you're going to get decapitated. Yeah. 
your hands are gonna get chopped off. The fun stuff. The yeah. fun stuff. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I, my, <laughs> you know, it was a family friendly, <laughs> friendly show over here, but I mean, the reality is this is super dangerous. A lot of people's reaction, if they're leaning over, is to brace their fall and they yeah. stick their hand out the window. You don't want to do that. Yeah. So that's why you hold on to the O. The O S bars. Yeah. S blank 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 bar is what they call it so I've been calling that that for years so okay so that's actually an actual so you term. know that yeah okay yeah. that's why they call it that. the oh beep bars yeah <laughs> so if I do roll over make sure you grab that and not you know for sure <laughs> but it's not gonna happen guys because Nick is the is the safety master <laughs> yeah, right yeah you are all about the safety <laughs> yeah oh my that's god great. that's great There's another little sharp spot, guys. Oh, thank, thank you, brother. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I wish I could shoot this camera so we don't have to stop shortly, but that's okay. Again, guys, these GoPros overheat like crazy, and I'm not even using its uh, highest resolution either. I'm, I'm using 4K, of course, but I'm not using their highest FPS because then the battery would only last five minutes. Imagine you guys, if you're going on a once in a lifetime trip or going skydiving for the only time you'll ever go skydiving and the camera overheats as you're coming down. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be so brutal. It's so funny you mention that because my wife and I went skydiving uh, shortly after we got married, <laughs> one and only time. And we have an old, VHS tape, is that what they're called? Yep, yep. We still have that thing. I, I need to convert that to a digital format. But yeah, we have that tape. Now that didn't uh, that didn't shut down. We, we had, oh no. There's no oh. battery on that. Yeah, you know? for sure. Were you scared? Well, there is, but they don't, hell yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You know, it's a funny story because she got me a ticket to do that uh, for my birthday without my knowledge and she surprised me, so she blindfolded me. Oh my and God. took me to, was, uh, <laughs> we were living in Orange County at the time, and it ended up being in- um, In Paris, probably. Paris. Yeah. And so, you know, we're driving, I don't know where we're going. We get there, she pulls off the blind, and I'm like, where are we? And you know, I see a sign, it's for parachuting. Oh, I'm so mad at her. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. She was laughing at me. I didn't want to do it. I said, I'm not doing this. No way in hell am I doing this. And they freaking talked me into it. And I will never forget the adrenaline rush. There's oh, nothing I, like yeah. it. Um, there's nothing like it. I was pumping for the next, I mean, even after the jump, the adrenaline was surging through my body uh, for the next six hours. I mean, I, I was, it was just pure, uh, purely, it was just uh, a rage. Everyone yeah. I've spoken to who has gone skydiving, they all had one thing in common that after they jumped, after a couple seconds, it wasn't as bad as they thought it was going to be, even though it was still terrifying. Yes, because, now have you, you said you said Terminal velocity, right? That's but you said you have done it? No, oh. no. What's Not weird yet. is you expect this I think you, what you do is you expect to feel, like as soon as you jump out of the plane, you expect this like terror. But the reality is you're just, you're kind of not feeling anything except for the wind. And nothing's really moving because, you know, at 10,000 feet or wherever you're jumping from, it's not really, nothing's really changing. You know, the, the scene is not changing as much as it's changing at, 4,000 or 3,000 feet. You yeah, know, it starts yeah. changing a lot oh, of yeah. that oh, yeah. as you get closer. Oh, is this it? I think we're done. We, oh my gosh, guys, we finished. So, let's, here's another sign. What does it say? Little Jumble. 3N10, which is what? 3N10, guys. 3N10 is what this little John, John Bull was on. As you guys saw, parts of it were. 3N10. Uh, I'm still shaking over it. You know, I think it's just the same trail. All, all of you um, four by people are going to be laughing at me for not knowing this. But what does this say? Here's the beginning. Oh God, there's so many stickers. This is by. John Bull as well. Yeah, but they got it all covered up. You so, can, yeah. I can't really see. That's pretty John lame. Bull. 
That's pretty lame. Yeah, it's kind of lame. But we will do, we will probably do this trail the next time. And this one's pretty hardcore. Um, it's got a big gatekeeper and it's got some big incline, rocky inclines and spectacular views to the backside. Uh, I think it's a little bit longer. Okay. But um, I think we're going to save that one for next time. That, guys, you hear that? So next time we're either doing John Bolt, we'll, we'll be doing something next time, yeah. but this will definitely be on our list. Yes. This, this could be the next one, but just so you guys know, uh, it, this was absolutely terrifying, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> like I'm wide awake now. And uh, thank you again, Matt. Absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful journey. Um, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Um, he put a very expensive machine on the line to put a smile on all, all, all your faces. So thank you again. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the hell out of it. And I will see you next time. I love you guys. And we will see you next time from beautiful Big Bear, California. Peace out. Peace out. Hey, just a little surprise to show you guys a preview of what is probably going to be our next run. This is the entrance. This is called the gatekeeper to John Bull. Check this we out. We couldn't resist. We couldn't resist to show you guys. Zoom in on that, guys, because I can't zoom in on this camera. That's how you enter. Oh, get ready, guys. And again, we'll see you soon. Peace out.